Hi there, I'm Kat. Let's knit together. Today, we're here at the New York State Sheep and Wool Festival in Rhinebeck, New York. So where are we going next? It's turn 35 and 36 over there. Okay. There's so much here to see. It's going to take us the whole day to actually just walk through it once. What's cool is that there are so many different types of yarns and things like that. You can tell like people just came from their house bundled up their fleece and their yarn and they just brought it here and trying to sell it. And I think that's cool because it's the kind of stuff that's unique and you'll never find it anywhere else. They have wool, they have wool here too, just like natural right off the sheep. And then they have fleece, dyed fleece. I'm Terry Kunz with Twin Ponds Fiber Farm, and I do raise Angora rabbits. This is one that I have here. This little girl is about seven weeks old, so she's soon ready to be weaned from her mom. Uh, Angora rabbits are a fantastic fiber animal. They can produce, depending on the breed of Angora, two to three and even more pounds of fiber per year, so can create lots of warm garments. I raise purebred giant angoras, and they're the largest angora breed, but are only accepted in white color. So in order to get colors, I cross or hybridize them with the four other recognized breeds of angoras. So I have some with satin, English, French, and some German bloodlines in my herd. This little girl you can see has a lot of what is called facial furnishings. All of the fur on her head, she is a giant hybrid. So she has giant and English in her bloodlines, and you can see her face has wool on it as well as her ears. How do you actually harvest the fleece from the rabbit? Generally, it depends on the breed of Angora rabbit. The larger production rabbits, Germans and Giants, are generally sheared, and that's just with a, a very sharp pair of scissors. That's how I prefer to harvest my fibers. I let the hair get between three and four inches long and then harvest it with a sharp pair of scissors. Um, English, French, and satin rabbits are better plucked. Plucking is a process of harvesting or pulling hairs that are ready to be shed. So it's not pulling hairs that are still intact on the body because you could injure or, or harm the animal, but ready to be shed. Okay, if you pull out and pinch. And pull out and pinch. Oh, just like this? Yep, just fly. There you go. Now let go of it. Right here, let go of this hand. And then let it wind up. It won't get away from you. Then pinch, pull it out again. Let it wind up to it. You can control it up here, but you can't control it once it's spun. Oh, I see. 
One more time. All right. And just let let go now. Let let, let it wind up. Go where you get where you want it, and pull it out again. Let go of it. Okay, let go of that. I feel like it's going to come apart. You know what? Yeah. And you can get pretty fine. Yeah, you, you control that the way you were spent. There are a lot of people that spent it rough, really big. And then, however much you let go in there, how much it's going to spend it off. You can pinch it off really tight. But stretching it out, stretching it out, stretching it out. About as fine as you can get it right there. And if it breaks off, just grab some more. Oh, what type of fiber is this that you're spending? This is blended buffalo fiber. What is it blended with? It has blended with uh, Romney sheep. We blend it with alpaca, silk. Uh, my wife does all the blending. Uh, anything that's exotic, we'll, we'll blend with it. And you said where do you get this particular buffalo from? This buffalo comes from the from the ranchers. We had a guy in Pennsylvania send some to us, Missouri, Michigan, mostly Michigan area, because we are from Michigan area. You came all the way from Michigan? Yeah, 747 miles. That's <laughs> great. Donald Kading. I'm from Millbrook, New York. Uh, different types of sheep take different times. Like the sheep over here, the bigger ones here, are called Rambolets. They take a little bit longer, to five to six minutes. And the other ones here are more long-wooled, open-fleeced, which means they shear much easier, and probably a minute and a half to two minutes to shear. How often do you shear the sheep? Uh, the Icelandic sheep, the long-wooled sheep, get shorn twice a year and the Rambolets here will get shorn once a year. At what time of year? Uh, the Icelanders get done every six months. I just got done doing a flock of 200 and they, uh, they were done just last week. And then the Rambolets usually get done in the springtime of the year. It's in April or May. How much wool do you actually get? Uh, usable wool, a, a Rambolet will give you probably eight to 10 pounds of wool. And um, an Icelandic, good usable wool, probably get six pounds. Thank you. 